Yeah, it's okay. Uncle Eli your internet stays alive. Everything has a pattern. Learn them, and you don't take so much as a scratch. Oh, we'll have to bring back the, uh... <laughs> that was a good meme door. Uh, it was... Wasn't it getting everyone to try and do the 1-1 one, one music, but, uh... Acapella? In the team? The whole team had to try oh, and do 1-1 one, one music? Um, I don't remember 1-1, one, one, but I remember Fortissimo. Was it... Oh, yeah. Oh, everybody knows the very beginning, and that is it. The Unholy Bully. <laughs> uh, that's Underworld all. Bully. Yep. Why is he unholy? If I listen to the rest of the lyrics, what do I know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He explains his whole backstory. Huh. There was, like, a, a weird book that he found yeah. in a library that had fallen between the shelves, and he got it. And Ooh. It had these weird arcanic symbols on it, and he started reading uh. it, and then this uh, giant marshmallow came and uh, talked to him huh. and uh, oh, cursed him. Yeah. He used to be quite holy, but um, it cursed him. It actually turned him into a mole first. Uh, and then as oh, a mole, he was, he was a, yeah, he was a human. Yeah. And then was, um, sent to the core of the earth, uh, uh -huh. to fetch the other book, Request. the sequel of the book that he found. Uh, the book. Book. Yeah. yeah. This was the, the book about the stick. He had to make a s'more. He made the s'more, yeah. combined the marshmallow uh -huh. with the chocolate and the, the graham crackers that he found at the groceries. And then turns out it was an unholy s'more and he ate it and then it became an unholy s'more. Oh. Double curse, yeah. You don't want to do that. No. Did he read the book? Like, pretty sure it tells you on page like thirteen. That was the whole thing, though. Is he never learned how to read? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's the big at the end. Oh, there. wow. The big scoop oh, tonight at story. at eleven. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> tonight at eleven. The I'm backstory of Fortissimo. Mm -hmm. Illiterate moly. <laughs> 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 so, so anyway uh, what are you listening to this is a uh, game one of shortcake sweets versus aria main just that's a right. standard commentary and uh, aria um of course breaking everyone's brains a little bit by playing the aria sprite but it is indeed cadence don't worry we are starting in zone one not zone five <laughs> Ooh. Fun little tip, uh, Shortcake Sweets there was could have saved one beat, which, you know, super matters, right? Um, not really. But uh, if you kill the very last zombie at the sort of Y coordinate that they did, then King Kong ends up off, off beat from you if you move, move to the side. But if you moved up, the zombie would have followed you. And then later, you wouldn't have to waste that beat. And it's a good time. Anyway. That's interesting. I I never really pictured where those were, but yeah, I guess that's always good to know, so that you don't accidentally lose your spot. Oh, shortcake there with a nice little dig out of the nice. way to dodge that minotaur. And yeah, we're pretty even, Steven. Here we got um, just the sunglasses for Aria. That's often a little sketchy. Oh, didn't check this shop. Aria's gonna miss out on the pink shovel. Oh, and miss out on their life. They go down in Ooh. zone two. Let's see that. That was a big, yeah. Oh, oh, couldn't escape because the mushroom. Yeah, we've seen a few of those deaths now, where uh, trying the to run mushroom. away and there is an enemy snag in the way. If anyone's not played this game before but is watching, one thing you might not realize is that your attack button and your move button are the same, and so it's possible that when you're trying to move away. Uh, instead, you're going to attack because whatever you're trying to move away is in your snag range. And an, a weapon like the Titanium Log Sword there has uh, a range of two. So anything within that range, you will attack instead of moving in that direction. Nice Blast Helm there for Shortcake. Just realized oh, nice. I didn't share on what the stats were over the season, uh, the week long season. Uh, Shortcake had a seven and two. Very nice. Dropping a game to uh, a melon as well as it's me dash. But did three oh tiny. Like, oh, for, dragon. for a transmute scroll, it's not that good. I want to. Not yeah. worth. That's when you think, oh, but what if I see dry baby and then you mm. take it? But it's not wise. So we got a double death. 
We're back to square one. Ah, this game has squares. Hey! There is a square one in this game. They it's were true. back there. And we are back on it. Arya main with a four five and four. Uh, did get 3 0 by Focusing Face, uh, who is in this tournament. But 3 0 Adrian Andrews and uh, a, mel a Melon as well. Uh, two, sorry, a 2 1 on a Melon. So a 5 4 for Arya main coming out of the regular season. Now, uh, I'm just taking a... Oh, <laughs> I'm so confused. I was looking at Levs's scores, and Levs is 10 and 2, and I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't add up to 9. <laughs> that Because they had three matches over the week, but of course it counts <laughs> for Levs's, uh plays here in this just barely. Uh, finals yeah. as well. And uh, according to this, Levs is 5 and 1 on Kylaria because of... Oh, well, the there's matches. some stuff happening... Oh boy! It's fine. Oh, it, that could have been fine. It was She's not a, though. There's just too many skellies. That was a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, the headless skeletons can be really beneficial, but that bounce trap oh. made things real janky. <laughs> yeah, I never even really realized that. That if Arya Main and Dorian, like Arya and Dorian, are fighting the Necrodancer, it's Arya and her son in law. <laughs> that's weird. Hmm. I guess that's the family there. Yeah, that's how it works. Well, I, that's just. Oh, I don't know. We can't. I don't want to take down this ultimate evil bad guy with you. I don't really like you that much. Yeah. You, you can't be choosy about your. your fight partner that's right yeah especially if he would just had a bell on his head and is actually a bad guy at first <laughs> i guess i don't know Spoilers. yeah you don't want to upset him <laughs> he's got a mean dash all right so this battle what? shovel has been really useful for uh for the racers to start Wait, it out why does he lose all of his powers once he goes to necrodancer yeah i don't know i've always wondered that where's his big hammer yeah he's got a huge hammer it'd be awesome if he kept that And this bell helmet. Belmet. Belmet. <laughs> Iman <Simon> Belmet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really don't like these sunglasses. I'm one to just kind of avoid them. I find the plus one damage isn't worth um, having a hard time knowing where the enemies are. Yeah, they're... Or at least they are the plus enemies one are. damage, which is really good, but you have to... I always have to keep in mind, like, what is my mental capacity right now? And this is, you know, adding, like, way too much to that. Can I handle it? Nah, I don't know. I'm going to do something else right now. Especially if it's your plus one to two damage. If it's plus one to three damage, like, it brings you up to three, it's not nearly as bad. And I guess we're there now with the Titanium Longsword. Mm -hmm. Because you uh -huh. pretty much one-shot all enemies. All the lower enemies, anyways with the three damage, but if you only have two, then you really have to know whether it's a yellow or a black skeleton and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Boots of strength, all right. Now, interestingly, Arya main picking up those spiked ears over uh, the blast helm, and I wonder if that is an Arya thing, because Arya huh. spiked ears are very good for Arya, um, but they're usually not nearly as highly rated for Cadence, especially over blast helm, which is often considered the best headgear. So an interesting pickup there. And we got a pulse spell. We haven't seen that. Slimes. Yeah, when they're just kind of snagged like that, you never know. When they uh -huh. break out. I could be released at any time. Any be careful. Time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, watching Arya breaks your brain a little bit when it's like, don't drop the beat. Although it does feel like Arya main plays with a lot of the buffers like we were talking about earlier and doesn't do a lot of standing. I mean, that might have to do with the spiked ears. But that might just be in inherent in their play if they do Aria main. But uh, yeah, Old Faithful helping out a ton here. This uh, weapon is just a nice, nice weapon. It, it's very consistent damage. Bit of an awkward situation here. 
especially without the shovel to dig that wall, had to back off. And erasers are exactly a, a, a zone behind. Yeah. Ah, zone behind. Gotcha. Yeah, zone two boss for shortcake. Zone three boss for Arya main. And a ring of shielding, pretty low on the tier of rings to get, but uh, it's one you'll take if you don't have any other rings. But there it goes. Didn't knock back the blade master enough, so got hit. <laughs> Drugelski, can you imagine trying to do butt puzzles if Dorian had like, <laughs> cursed lunging? That'd be amazing. Did we see a Ring of War miss here? I, I missed that. But yeah, Ring of War is pretty good in pretty much all cases. Except for, as we've talked about, there are some bad situations you can get with the cat sometimes. Um, if it is your plus one damage, again, taking you from one damage to two, it's not great with, like, a staff or something. I mean, it's okay with the staff doing two damage, but if you knock back, you might miss... Uh, you might jump into the enemy that you knock back without killing. Okay, nice pulse kill on the food shop. So we're going to be up to eight hearts with a chicken. I'll take the cookies, though. Yeah, cookies are way better. Cookies, yeah. Same amount of health, but more granularity. Yeah. And you've already seen food shops, so you don't want the big... Like, that's the one reason you would take chicken over cookies. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, you uh, definitely want to take cookies there. Get those iframes. Maybe hasn't uh -huh. played enough Mary. That's when you really learn about iframes. Yeah, uh-huh. Mary's good for that. This is a pretty solid build, though. Three damage, you know, armor. I'm not going to say good armor, but armor. That's another one that I think was a good change for Toon, was making the Obsidian, the Toon.0 mod, making Obsidian plus 0.5 on all levels. What do you mean? Oh, like so. Of... It's chain gotcha. plate yeah. heavy instead of... Um, uh -huh. leather yeah leather chain, chain plate. plate just kind of makes it better i think what's interesting is balancing isn't so hard to do because we all very much know the the level of things that people take like people don't take the gear uh -huh. so you could probably buff it <laughs> right <laughs> people always take the axe so you could probably nerf it like that's we've got a lot of data on all that stuff Oh, this is a little sketchy here for Arya, but a nice shield spell. Excellent, yeah. Shield. Yeah, moving down to 5-3. Has been using that pulse really well as well. Especially in the more standard ways you'd use it, like killing uh, Deep Blue's... Uh, was it Deep Blue's 3? Mm. That's very nice, yeah. Pulse has been well used. Ooh, the, I can't tell with the bit rate, but does Shrupper Cake have Boots of Pain? Yes. That would go great with that Blood Reaper. Yeah, sorry the bit rate's not working yeah. as well. I think it might um, just be because I'm also my streaming. Internet. Oh, is it? I don't know. Yep. I have not tested as much, and we got... Oh! oh brutal. That is a oh. brutal death. Get hit in the you Ghoulam. I go right there, but I didn't realize how bad it was if you hit the Ghoulam. Bye to every heart you ever had. Yep, that's a lot of damage. How much damage does the Wall Pig do? Oh, we are off the rails for this... Uh, um, oh, we're back on. I feel like it might be a fireball spell, so three hits, which would make the good version three Six. entire hearts. Um, I, did they have four full hearts though? I didn't notice. I don't know. Rock just says they do uh, five hits base. I would believe that too. Dragon fireball. Ah, yep. Okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Speaking of dragon fireballs. Yep. Yeah, kill that Pulls thing. That Get it out of there. Keep your Necrodancer fights safe. We've seen lots of Necrodancer fight deaths today. Crazy. Now, the weird thing about using your shield there when you've got infinite shield yeah. on is uh -huh. that it does reset and you do not, it doesn't add to your shield. It actually negates it. Ooh, Arya main here is showing their 
Arya unwillingness to drop beats, or maybe they just <laughs> don't know alerts. Um, yeah, yeah, the Necrodancer lures, it's good strategies to learn, but Arya is going to take game one with an 11 minute <clears throat> run. Let's see GG. that big moment. And that's it right here. We all just watched it, but we'll watch it again. That wall pig lurking and just yikes. I mean, there was so much wrong with that situation. There's also a leprechaun that spawned in. Very yeah. Funny. Oh, that's always a fun, like, mental distraction of, oh, like, boy. wait, do I care about that? No, no, I don't. And then, oops, wall pig. Yeah, it's the harpy swooping in. I think uh, had Shortcake attacked up, it would have been fine. Yeah. I was thinking go right into the wall and take get the iframes from the shovel. Oh, that's even better, yeah. All right, let's get into game two. Mm, you know what else I wish? What's that? I wish that um, you could only take damage from one source every beat. Like, if two enemies attack you on the same beat, I think they both do damage to you. I don't think and so. I know you can get iframes for the next that... beat from, oh. like, a skeleton. Um, I'm not sure about the same beat. Uh, I know that Blood Drum doesn't give you iframes, which I wish it did. Yeah, I thought you only take damage from one of the enemies, and it's the one that does the most. Or it's based mm. on priority, yeah. You can get hit by only one thing every two beats. Yeah. Now, it used to be the case that it wasn't additive towards enemies. I have a very distinct memory of a Minotaur running past me, and I planted a bomb and poked it with a spear on the and the bomb like the bomb exploded, and I poked it with a spear on the same beat, and it didn't mm -hmm. die. And I was like, "That's wrong." And I, what? I wrote a message oh to brace yourself. This was Drop during early access, and I'm like, "This brace should yourself. work." Because I felt like a genius making this happen. Now that's, of course, standard, and it does work because they changed it. But there was a time when... And you when... still feel like a genius when you do that, so... What's that? Good. You still feel like a genius when you do that. Yeah. So, X change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that is, like, definitely one of the things they considered when they're working on all the interactions is it's like, if you feel smart doing a thing, that's that's really good. That's that's X. quality mm -hmm. uh, quality game design. All right. Should be starting any moment now. Here we go. Yeah, countdown's happened. Why fire pig at the exit? Yeah, that's a rough one. <laughs> Better than fire pig in the potion room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. All right, so we're underway Wait. once again, back at low percent, no items. We'll see what we got on zone one. I mean, in case anyone's new to this game, I think it's always worth sort of just reiterating a little bit on, on you know, some of the stuff that's not super obvious to start, but you're gonna find a secret shop on the first floor. That secret shop could be a blood shop, or it could be a, um, it could be anything, but if it's cracked like that, it's a blood shop, probably. Uh, and we're going to see Shortcake and Aria main check it. And we're probably going to see, a, yeah, making sure they remember they had big bombs. Nicely done. So Shortcake's going to bomb for this item here. Uh, whereas Aria main is just going to go. Not taking the blood drum. And we've got to start with a uh, not great weapon, but we're going to see if we can get a gold kill here. Very nice job by Aria main. Did drop the beat. So Aria main can do that. Can drop the beat. Excellent work. And I think, yeah, picking up the rapier is nice because it's times two damage no. on a lunge. No, and it's you can't open barrels anymore. They have grenades and boots of blunt, of pain and food and all sorts of good stuff. Bombs. Yeah, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Uh, keeping gold's a nice thing, but um, Golden Harp is not a weapon you're going to want to take in late game. Rapier has a chance of that, I guess, if you get some good damage ups. But yeah, I think you're not, not totally wrong. There is your damage up, though. Yeah, jumps. That's quite good with each weapon. Yeah. Harp is a tough tough sell. You might not see that so much with uh, uh, Conduit either. Keeping the harp. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so Shortcake's going to go back for that and have a two damage harp. 
And I imagine Arya is going to bomb. Oh, oh, yeah, big bombs. And is going to take that as well. You're not going to kill for this. This is not to kill for. No, yeah, this is wrong. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, that's... Uh... And went back for the... So you did that all for a heart what? container? And Shortcake goes You could down. buy that. You could have bought that. Yes. Bought that. Yeah, I could have bought sure. both. Oh, and that's no more shopkeeps. So I'm giving this one to Shortcake right now. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep your shops around for a little bit anyways. Uh, especially I, if I, I there's like no play... reason to kill. Mm -hmm. I like to play if you're going for like a six minute time, but you're not. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, I imagine in Conduit, it's it'd be rare to watch somebody roll the Glapier all the way to the end. I think you're gonna find they'll probably break it at some point. So not taking it was wise, but killing the shopkeeper mm -hmm. and then not taking it, you know, bold play. Also, Arya Main currently does not have um, particles on. I think there was an issue with particles for Arya Main, so that's something to keep in mind. That can cause uh, variants, so you'll notice Coral Rift and also the mushrooms. There's no like little particles that shoot off it. I think the moles do something that causes variants. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, let's see if I remember. Um, when, when moles spawn, they sort of pop out of the ground and shoot particles. Like, that happens on the very first beat of, of Zone 2, and you probably don't see them. Um, but popping out those particles advances the state of the random number generator, and so then that'll change everything. Oh, really? But it's not like if you... You know your your seat. You're gonna get seed variants if you just make the mole pop out more than usual, right? Uh, no, it is. That that's exactly it. If if you got particles on, then every time a mole spawns, it changes the RNG compared to someone who doesn't have particles on, and that changes the that gives you seed variants. Right, but what you said was that when they pop out, it moves the RNG up, which means that should also work if somebody made the moles pop multiple times during your. Oh, um, well, I think, I don't actually know beyond this, but I sort of assume that there's multiple RNG states, because otherwise, like, bats would give you seed variants every time of, if the bat stays alive longer than your opponent, right? Right, and So, yeah. like, every time, the, every time the level finished spawning, it, like, saves that state off to be the level spawn RNG, and then makes a new RNG for just random stuff like moles and bats within the level. I assume that's how it works. I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. By the way, Arya's uh, mystery ring is Courage. You're going to see some rocket oh, nice. plays. Yeah. Rocket Zone 3. Here we go. So, so sketchy. Really uh, dangerous. It, either really know how enemies work or kill things up along walls. Oh, this is a bold play. Shortcake here swapping out the audio latency mid-race. You don't see that every day. Nope. I wonder what that's about. They just felt they were missing the beat, but why, if it doesn't work one way, why would you be playing that way? I don't know. Very confusing. Also took floaties. <laughs> nice. All right. Can you get some armor, though? Hey, look, having your shop open is good. Actually can almost afford that, too, with picking up all this gold. Just kill a couple enemies and you'll be able to get it. Or you can blood dig, but that's a bad idea because of your purple hearts. Hmm. All right, main with some nice ice avoidance there. With the rocket over near the the pain shrine. That was that was well done. Very nice. Maybe Arya killed the shopkeeper just to not demonstrate the lack of uh, like the variance caused by the lack of particles. Hmm. Yeah, you'll see. There's no particles coming off of those uh, yetis either. Clappers, I should say. Yetis. <laughs> Who calls them? <laughs> uh oh, Arya, what's going on? Um, what? What happened? Are they all tabbed. I don't think Was so. It, but there were beats that just were missed. What is going on? Uh. Unplugged headphones. Apparently. Unplugged headphones does that. 
it's enough of a thing that people know what's happening, but I've never seen this. Uh, okay. Yeah, we might have to do a redo on this race then. Oh, that'd be unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, like, is it when your headphones, like, if you have, like, Bluetooth headphones and they die in the middle of it or something? Oh, changing audio inputs apparently does that. Um, or maybe it just did that automatically. Sometimes Windows is just like, hey, you probably want your microphone to be your uh, webcam. Yeah. Let's just uh, change that over for you. You get 100 million percent volume. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going to have to do a restart on that. That is an unfair uh, crash. Wow, this is a lot going on with this uh, conduit. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, apparently, yeah, if you unplug your headphones just for a moment. Because, yeah, it automatically changes your... Nocturna. Nocturna eyes right there. Is she hey, looking Lev's... at that rat she or is she looking at the crypt? Yeah, she's just eyeballing that dead rat. Maybe it's still got blood in it. Mm -hmm. Amplify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crypt of the Necro Dan. <laughs> 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 I rate this game one and a half skulls. Good, Dan. I can kind of imagine she's on like a, a sick motorcycle right now. Yeah, vroom. tearing it like, up in the ooh, crypt. Cracking up the back. That's yeah. Necro Danny B. Ooh. Yeah. She might just need to fix their capture a bit there. there. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, they started it in full screen. Okay. Think we're good? Okay. Cadence. Just gonna just gonna dive in, not even switch to their Aria skin. I do appreciate though that they are they actually do have default character Aria. Okay, I think I have I don't know. Let's just keep going here. Meme door you gotta play door. upside down? I have played this game with myself being upside down and my hands using the dance pad. <laughs> Did that a long Ooh. time ago. What? Uh-huh. Like heads, heads? Like my feet are where my head yeah. goes on my chair. Feet are where your head goes on your chair. Okay. And then my head and my hands are hanging off the front. Gotcha. And then I was pressing... <laughs> oh, what's going on over there? Are you getting paint? Are, you... are you in a submarine right now? Are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just have my microphone directly on my wooden desk and my Oh very good. Over here is wooden desk in your submarine. Yeah. Uh-huh. You caught me. Yeah. Yeah, you're tapping directly into the like mid-Atlantic internet cord that is there. Yeah. Uh, Getting pure internet. Unfettered. I need some better speeds. So yeah, take your submarine to the right, yeah, 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 for internet. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, there was a stream way back in the day when this game first came out where I'm like, let's see how many stupid ways I can play this game. And that was one of them. <laughs> Hanging upside down with my dance band. Way back in the day. And by a stream, I mean every stream I've ever done where I was like, hey, let's see how many stupid ways I can play this game. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to stream. Mm -hmm. Games in stupid ways. Uh, one was just turn your keyboard upside down. Try playing. That worked well. I mean, there is a thing in Windows, and I mean, probably most OSs, where you can just rotate your monitor in case you have it physically rotated, but you could turn your monitor upside down that way. That's true. That, that, that sounds more difficult than um, just reversing your controls. Because, yeah. you know, everything's 3D-ish, and it'd be very strange to try and retrain your brain on where the enemies actually are. Yeah. They're all below where they are instead of slightly above. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. 
It's weird. Oh, we got a white. We got a pain shrine. Here we go. Oh, and we got a heal immediately. And a decent weapon. This is going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Bomb that. You know you want it. Grab those throwing stars. Man, the rare, you can take everything also. Oh, don't bomb the trapdoor. Rip. Oh. Wow. There's and with the stuff. Ring of Charisma, you can buy that uh, axe. Mm. Although, could have killed with the throwing stars, so. Mm. And no accelerator, though. Feels bad. Yeah. Oh, you played with the Tycho drums? That's good. Play with some con Donkey Konga drums? Yeah. Aw, oh, those. Could you even, like. I those only have, like, so much Donkey eight. Konga back in the day. Two, I love that game. The the original one, Jungle Jungle Beat, is the one I had. Well, there was Donkey Konga, Donkey Konga 2, and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, I think. And oh, Jungle Beat was the one where it's like a side-scroller. Yeah. What you were the other ones? Collect bananas as you go. The other ones were like Guitar Hero, but with bongos. Oh, yeah, no, I played the, the Jungle Beat one, which was... It was really great. The best thing about that game was the hype monkeys in the background. Like, the higher your combo was, the more, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hyping you up. That's right. It was, it was honestly the best part of that game. It was very well done. That's wonderful. All right, we got a boss shrine here, some fun shrines, and we're going to take it. Are we going to take anything from it? And also, you don't have a bomb. Jord Cake, no. Mm -hmm. Usually, oh, there's a bomb right there. So we got pain with the the dagger, five damage. That's pretty good. This would be actually nice for Arya Main to take because going up to three damage with that axe would be really nice. I wonder if you take the harp there for a pseudo three damage harp. Like the, the big thing is, it's your only healing. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the big damage like, off the dagger is really worth it compared to the harp. I think I agree. Yeah, Plus like it's a bit awkward with it's basically a dagger and not as easy to use as some of the other weapons. But a dagger is literally a dagger, so. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that there, Pants. You got me there. Thanks. We're going to get a luck charm here. There it is. Oh, oh I just did not. He scooted. And uh, you're gonna teleport him. Yeah, you gotta do the wall dig yeah, on earlier. Or yes, yeah, set a trap. Uh, oh, were there earmuffs there for the ballet? Yeah, ballet boots, earmuffs is nice. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I think the harp was the take. Jewel dagger is just not that good. It's super good really early, and then it just kind of is not good. The dagger move set is just not what you want. All right, we're going to see. Yeah, we're getting rid of it. Titanium Rapier, you definitely take that with the Ring of Pain. Oh, baby. Solid find. I might give them a chance to catch up. Why didn't they go for shovel? I don't know. Uh, 235. I think they, they could have done one more. What's the worst that can happen? Glass shovel? Well, great. You break it and now you're on base shovel. Not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Can't do the earth kill here because of the axe, so I'm just going to have to wipe out the board. But that's fine. Oh, in the boss shrine it was there? Yeah, I think those are the right takes for Arya Main for weapons, ditching Fireball. Fireball's so good, but uh, heal and shield is excellent. Keeping those Earth Tomes probably for the uh, Dead Ringer fight. And we'll see if Shortcake can catch up. Shortcake really does have a nice build here. Lots of health, yeah, like, uh, lots of armor. And then pain on top of that. That's yeah. real good. Yeah, three five. Oh, you take that darkness. Do you, you do take you? it to the bank. Yeah. Yeah, you get your lower aggro too. You take it for you the lower lose aggro. Your pain. Lose your what? Oh, you lose, lose pain. pain. You're right. Never mind. Oof. Great goblins. Did you know? You go from 
<laughs> you go from two good weapons to only one good weapon. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I take it all back. Space for cap. That's true. Cap might have been good. And shortcake now into the boss of zone three as Ari main drops into four three. Nice earth. earth. Yeah. Still pretty minimal build for Arya main, but I mean the titanium axe is very good. But still only two damage. And uh, yeah, there's just some awkward enemies here in zone four that's gonna cost Arya main some time. That bounce takes... trap especially. Yeah, no bounce traps. They're great. But yeah, you can it's see awkward. just how much running back Arya has to do. And Shortcake's gonna be able to just pile through with the the pain. In fact, um, right there, when you knock back a Blade Master and you have a Ring of Pain with a Rapier, you can just dive into him. Mm -hmm. So it's even it faster. We did. Right there, dive in. Nice. It says parried. And you're like, ah, you sweet summer child. <laughs> yeah. You wish. If you hear some uh, Charles squeaks in the back, he's dreaming. Aww. <laughs> I know. <laughs> In his dream, he's probably barking his head off at some other dog or something. <laughs> but it translates to just a cute little squeak. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like Arya Main might have this in terms of the distance at this point. It's yeah, going to be tough for Shortcake to catch up. But, uh, oh, don't do that four times. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Oh, dear. That was a lot of spike trip. Oh, the wind what that's amazing <laughs> you're just pressing left there right yeah yeah all you're doing is pressing left and be like why isn't it work and then three weeks later <laughs> wow that was so good that's like a blender of death there it's getting garburated <laughs> <laughs> oh careful there Arya main you don't have a lot of heart containers you do not have heart containers okay Nice job on that. Oh, but is that wonky a... blood magic there. Didn't really gain a lot. And we're going back to lures. Oh, man. Psych. That was super close. <laughs> In the tunnel. Let's see. Let's see if it was totally safe. Dug up first. Yeah, it was fine. As long as they were aware of where Dead Ringer spawned. But the up dig right away is also dangerous because... Uh, Dead Ringer can spawn no, over at half a heart. You can, you can earth. Oh, earth to protect? Spot, you can earth early, yeah. yeah. I never remember to do it. I always just die to that if I don't <laughs> yeah. react to the right direction. But technically, it's possible. Oh, man. Oh, and short oh, kick goes killed down. Dove. Killed by the dove. Killed by the dove. Oh, it got out of the way. And then, uh but it, like, Arya's got to be careful oh, for Dorian. Oh, Dorian's at two hearts. Oh, car and then, uh... Aura, Dorian's at half heart. Okay. No, sorry. Heart and a half. Still. It's a good thing that Arya noticed. And Arya is going to take it. GG. Wow. The clown car. That's the perfect name for that. So Arya manages our first 2-0 oh, victory nice. over Shortcake. Some excellent matches, though. GG's. The central clown teleported away. yoo -hoo -hoo. And the two clowns... <laughs> them on the side when they thought they were killing the middle clown. Yeah, again, flanked by a clown. Mm -hmm. Feels bad. All right. Yo, if you could mod the clown cars to have more clowns in them, you pop a skull and like a thousand skeletons spawn, destroying every wall. Ah. <laughs> Please make that happen. Make it like a random oh. roll between like three and like <laughs> seventeen. And it's in a it's in a perfectly straight line across the entire level. So you can just like laser the shot from forever oh, away. You'll love to see it. Yeah, if you have the electro dagger and just Ooh, yeah. Yeah. 